Throw it back in a bill burn. Yeah. No wood for my health, it can't be when I'm with you. Yay! Wanna get wasted. Who was that? With you. Thank you, girl. Tell me what's good for me, but I don't care. Luau gang, what's poppin' man? Y'all know we back in that action, man. And today is a different type of vibe. You see, we got Dami V back in the cut. Dami gang, y'all stand up in this motherfucker, man. Put your big girl panties on and keep uh, say that because I got some niggas that watch me too. But my thing is this, man. I know we ain't really been back together in like a joint video. You know what I'm saying? This was like our channel, my channel slash her channel before. A lot, a lot of and then, so a lot of people really don't understand what happened with us. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we owe y'all an apology and like to say that we're sorry. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, like I say, a lot, a <laughs> lot, just a lot was going on in the time, and we never really got to explain really what happened. Not apology because, like you say, we a family. You know what I'm saying? But family fight, family argue sometimes. But it's how you bounce back. You know what I'm saying? It's how you progress and move forward. And I feel like now that's what we are trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we went on a tour together. Amazing vibes, just to say that. It was amazing vibes, you know what I'm saying? That was my first time um, being around Dami V again. Because we had like split up for uh, how long? Three months? Three months, four months, I don't know. Three months, four months, I don't really know. It's been you know like what I'm five or six months. Though, so, we haven't been together together. But we didn't see each other for like three months, though, I feel like. See each other physically, no. Yeah, like. Not well, even, she blocked me. Not so, even on social media. Yeah, because we was like, like, it was like really like that. You know what I'm saying? Watch you on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Everything. She blocked God, me on everything, y'all. That's how Twitter, she really did me. <laughs> she ain't want to see me no more. That's basically the moral of the story. She ain't want to see me no more. You feel me? And, 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 and no. a lot a lot was taken into accountability at the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, of course, when y'all when people split up, you start thinking about, okay, damn, you know what I could have did better, how I'm going to improve as a person, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I went through a lot of that. I had to get closer to God because at the time I was so... I was the opposite. <laughs> what you mean? I went crazy. But you, went, you got better, but I got not better. But now I'm better. Yeah, I mean, like I, I feel like I've, um, what's that call it? I progressed in my life like a lot. I matured a lot. I feel like in this time, you know what I'm saying? Not even saying like, um, but before y'all, I know y'all got a lot of questions. Y'all gonna be like, um, are we together? Of course, cause we back doing the, um, the video right now. But uh, honestly, right now we're not together at the moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we're not together. We friends, but we like, and I feel like that's what it was. We gotta, we just. Our friendship, you know what I'm saying? We working back on the, all the basics, you know what I'm saying? Just the, you know, because we, we got together when we was real young, you know what I'm saying? Like, real, real young. So it's like, man, I had to, like, progress. She has to progress and stuff like that. But that's what we're working on now, still. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, still. Like, I feel like every day it's like a learning experience, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like, don't think just because YouTubers be on here, like, Everything is so fine and dandy. Like people have problems, bro. Like people gonna learn and people gonna grow as they get older, bro. And and just experiencing life, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you gotta experience life to grow to be somebody that you wanna be. And that's what I'm trying to get today is that knowledge. Like I said, we had some real grown people problems. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, and I feel like to to me, I value more of realness than fakeness so a lot of it was like most of the stuff on our channel was mostly like a lot of the shit is real like he said real people problems real relationship real friendship problems everybody go through shit yeah but i mean I but there was some shit truth and i value like realness that's why we sitting here right now like we're friends yeah we're working on our shit yeah everybody got problems everybody got problems you know what i'm saying but like you said we working towards you know what i'm saying but like I said, basically better in our friendship than it ever been before. You know what I'm saying? I feel that's what we're working on now. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to just basically kind of just talk about that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That was really yeah, like yeah. For the most part, this is I feel like this is good what we're doing because we went through the problems and then 
it shows maturity and the fact that we can come back together and be friends. And then yeah. when you're friends with somebody, that's really the base of the relationship. And that's the base of everything. And you have to have the, that's where it builds your bond stronger. Yeah. So if you guys do end up, you know, moving forward or figuring out if you're just friends or not, you still have a strong bond and you'll still have this, the base. Yeah. And that's what I feel like because we hella like compatible. Like she turn up. I turn up, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, like, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, we really just got, like, major love for each other, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, like, uh, it's just certain steps that I feel like you got to take. And, when, and we were together so young and so early. Like, I was around, we was around each other, like, all the time. And, like, I guess it just... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it when you're dealing with someone. And like, and you younger and you're around... The camera died, but what were you saying, though? I was saying... Let me figure my thoughts real quick. I think I was just saying like, um, oh, being with somebody young, it takes a lot of growth between each person because you know as you grow, each person and, grows and, differently. And I was gonna say that too, and like at the same time, like you people are not gonna be the same as they was when they was when they was younger. You know what I'm saying? And that's we. I think we were so used to you, you like I don't used know used to people. And you get used to being around them. But people like grow that. as we get like. As I got older, yeah. I grew out of some stuff. And as he grew older, well, I guess me leaving you know, kind of helped you with your growth process a little bit. Yeah, like I said, but, I feel like you know, it needed to happen. As a girl, speaking for the men, make sure you love your girl. You know, especially if you got a ride or somebody that's been there for you. Make sure you always make her feel value. Prioritize. You know what I'm saying? As well as women. When you got a man that works yeah. hard, make sure you show appreciation to him. And make yeah. sure you do little stuff. You don't got to be a man. You don't got to do all that. But make sure you make him feel like he's appreciated and valued and that you're grateful to be with somebody that does take care of you, have your back, whatever it is, you know. Not everybody's shit ain't the same. Everybody yeah, everybody got different, you know what I'm saying? But that's all we're speaking on ours, you know what I'm saying? But, and just trying to give people that it is real life problems, but you can work through them and get... You know what I'm saying? Back to the basics of, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you do and gotta go on dates. You do gotta talk stuff out. You do gotta... Yeah, and that's what a lot of know, things is about communication. Spend time together and spend time apart also. Yeah, and get ready to get your thoughts. everybody needs their yeah, minds, mental. their mental space to grow mm -hmm. mentally on their own to be better within themselves so you can be better for a partner yeah. or for another person. I mean, make sure yourself is right too. Make sure you're getting yourself right before you can do something with somebody else. Make sure you're getting yourself issues. right. You know what I'm saying? You got to work out. Yeah. Not saying there's not going to be issues, but just make sure you're trying to become a better you. And make sure you got somebody that is understanding to you in your situation yeah. and vice versa because that helps a lot when you guys are more have us on the same page. You guys can communicate and talk. Yeah. You know, it's really easy to do yeah. that. The friendship is the base. Yeah. So, we I mean. Vigo and Dami therapy counseling <laughs> sessions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> therapy counseling sessions. If you need any advice, man. Comment below. Comment below. And then y'all can send us y'all problems or whatever it is. It ain't got to be an anonymous. It can be. Well, you can leave your name or you don't got to leave your name. If you don't want people to know your business, you don't got to tell us your name. But it can be anything. It can be friendship problems, school problems, bullying. It don't matter. Just whatever's on your heart, just put it in a text and we got you. But like you said, I mean, that's basically the moral of what, you know what I'm saying, of what... But that's basically the moral of everything that's like kind of going on right now. Just trying to, like you say, build everything back up. You know what I'm saying? I want, we wanted to talk about our, uh, the future. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I know y'all kind of been noticing. Y'all follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave them links in the description. Make sure y'all go follow us, man, because we got a lot of stuff going. Like I said, I'm going to Rolling Loud in like two days. <laughs> Dami V got a Paper Chaser coming out. I know y'all heard that song. Paper Chaser, baby. Gonna make that money by Monday. Y'all know the song. I can't dance. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all go. Um, The video coming out soon. That's what I said we wanted to talk about that. Um, My video's coming out. Listen videos coming soon. Gonna yeah. be getting that done. Have a surprise feature for you guys on that. So yeah, I'm working on this. We working. I'm working on my EP. He's working on something. Yeah. He got something in store for y'all. So yeah, we got yeah. a lot coming. And I know y'all probably want to like, uh, like I said, I don't want to like hold y'all up too much and stuff like that too. I got a lot of stuff going on too. Like I said, me and Zeke, we can go to Rolling Loud. We went. Um, I know y'all probably want to hear about the tour. So if y'all want to hear about the tour, 
we can let y'all know that if not we can go to another video man like i said we're gonna be around more now so you know around each other more so if y'all do want like some more videos like we used to do man pranks i can prank up man hey we you know what i'm saying we back to the basics man we getting lit yeah prank wars can go down man on my mama but like i said man y'all know we just wanted to basically explain it to y'all that we coming back you know what i'm saying as friends you know what i'm saying and we're gonna be on the channel better than me on the channel anyway <laughs> We gonna try to talk some shit. For real, like, don't y'all love me? If you love me, tell me you love me in the comments. <laughs> Cause I know they love me. Hey, but like I said though, y'all know what's going on, Lil Wild Gang. Like I said, um, I got the album dropping soon. The album dropping soon. That mug is called Bow. Bow. Hello. I don't like saying hello. She missed the. That's what. Y'all see why? Y'all see why? She's so hard headed. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bro. <laughs> On um, everything, but like I was saying though, got the album coming soon. Um, Flex like Louie, actually, I'm gonna drop that on my music channel. I'm starting a music channel up. It's gonna be called Billow. Man, make sure y'all go get that, man. I'm telling y'all, go subscribe right now. I'ma leave that, man. That's a mandatory thing to do. Go subscribe, bro. Go subscribe to the music channel because I'm dropping on. Um, hungry. You, I'm boring you. You making me hungry. Hold on, May. What's today? May 17th so y'all be ready for that May 17th bro I'm trying to tell you flex like Louie dropping on the B Lou channel it's the new it's the old song I dropped but it's the video to it now bro it's crazy it's litty three titties man y'all know what's going on man Dami V back in the game man you already know what it is man that's all I got to say Lou out gang man we going straight to the top like never before remember they'll never do crack or cocaine you know we love y'all man we getting this thing back shaking man so y'all comment y'all videos what y'all want to do man Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Love y'all. Peace.